I'm Hannah from the Moulettes. And I'm Ollie from the Moulettes. And where did the name come from? The name is steeped in mythology and uh, it means various things. I've been actually working on a, on a dictionary entry for it. Um, little muscles of this sort. Uh, the bar food type. A food type. Yeah, moles. Oh, the moles. Moles, yeah. Uh, uh, barnacles. Yeah. Little barnacles. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, unit of force. I got really into it. It's also uh, it gets used in the south of France for for Rude. female anatomy as well. We found out. All right, we'll afterwards, stop that bit though. There. Afterwards. <laughs> yeah, definitely afterwards. Watershed. Of course, yeah. So do you have some French connection? No. We like France. We've played in France a couple of times. We'd love to play there more. It'd be really good. Yeah. Okay. And um, tell us something about the music. Um, we love it. We've been doing it for 11 years now. Moulet's been playing for. Um, often when we get asked what music we play, we struggle to explain. Um, usually the fallback answer is uh, we all come from different uh, disciplines, really. Um, Hannah was brought up into, with folk music. Uh, I was brought and, up with... And other. I, I, I don't want to read just the folk one. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fo folk and classical. Folk and other. Yeah, folk and other. Which probably actually best describes our band, actually. <laughs> folk and other. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so are the tunes um, traditional, self-composed, or a mixture? No, they're all, they're all original. Our, our ones. Um, our, our nuggets. Uh, okay, and um, how did the mix of instruments come together? It was just what we had. We we uh, we use uh, 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 lots of different types of acoustic instruments as well as a couple of electric ones. Um, I think that came about again because of the different fields that we came from. I mean, there's a bassoon, cello, auto harp, double bass, guitar, drums. We all sing as well. I mean, I think sort of that's one of the things that we really like is being able to play music anywhere. And I think um, acoustic instruments are good for that. And Technology and the, what's happened with sound, you know, even in the last sort of five, six years, has made it even better to use acoustic instruments in, in, in the live arena on the big stages. There's a uh, continually like uh, thought with difficulties with feedback and things, but we've we've been working on we've it. We've got so. new, yeah, it's a continual quest. To give me give me the solution because I play in an acoustic band and we. <laughs> what what was you, it? What, what's it's in a band band, so okay. it's squeeze box, fiddle, hurdy gurdy. Plus a couple of. Ooh, my dad just bought a hurdy gurdy that he says he's going to share. Ah, yes. Great and my, my dad actually is a luthier called Alan Miller, and he made me my electric cello, which is filled with foam, not squirty foam, yeah. blocks of foam. And then actually, I, got, I just got an, a Fishman Aura <laughs> Spectrum pedal, which takes a, a, a piezo signal and turns it into a, a mic sound, so it puts a lot of nice room and air sort of into it. So it begins to sound more like a cello. But it is a battle, especially with something like the cello where the range is so great that you can't really EQ really it without ruining it. I mean, yeah. There's been many, I mean, yeah, we've been going for 11 years now. And obviously we've played lots of different types of gigs, but a lot of the time, you know, we still play sort of smallish pub, pub venues and the amount of times that we've had problems with our sound. Um, it's an ongoing battle, but um, thankfully we've got um, people working on it all the time for us, so it's, 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 uh, it gets, it's getting easier. Sound it? magicians. Yeah, and we like to use effects as well, so you know, it's, it's always good.